Donatello made for the Signoria of the city of Florence a metal cast which was set up in the piazza under a bay of their loggia, and it shows Judith cutting off the head of Holofernes, a work of great excellence and mastery. In fact, the commission for this marvellous group placed from 1506 beneath the Loggia della Signoria towards the Vaccareccia, was due not to the Signoria, but to the Medici, who kept it in the garden of their family house in Via Larga. From there, the group, together with the Bronze David, also by Donatello, was seized to public acclamation after the expulsion of the Medici and the proclamation of the Republic. In 1495, it was placed on the ringhiera, or podium, in front of the Palazzo della Signoria, to the left of the entrance, in the preeminent position which in 1504 was to be assigned to Michelangelo's David. An allegory of virtue triumphant over vice, of chastity and humility over lust and pride, to which the bacchanals of the putti on the base appear to allude, this statue, with its intense dramatic power and its crude and disturbing realism, constitutes, together with the slightly later and unfinished bronze pulpits in San Lorenzo, the artistic testament of the by now aged Donatello. Whoever considers the simplicity of the outside in the garments and expression of Judith manifestly discovers inside the great soul of that woman and the help of God just as in the appearance of Holofernes he discerns the wine and the sleep and death in his members, which having lost their animating spirits, are cold and lifeless. Donatello made this so well that the casting came thin and most beautiful, and it was finished off so finely that it is a very great marvel to see. Composed of several pieces cast separately by the lost wax technique and then soldered together, the statue was based on a life-size model, the folds of which were modelled with cloth and wax. Originally, it looked much more precious than it now appears in the Sala dei Gigli, where it has been displayed for reasons of conservation since 1988, after a long and careful restoration by the Opificio delle Pietre Dure. From the faint traces of gold found on the bronze, it appears that the folds and the lower portion of Judith's garments were gilded. The blade of the sword still preserves a large part of its precious covering. 